All right, we're talking Mountain View girls basketball. Bill Simons with us. Uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, success last year, this year, and just you know getting into that season. And single A is nice, uh, but you know uh, teams like Montrose, like hey, Mountain View is going to be pretty good again. They knew uh, up front that you guys had a good squad, but then you got to go work for it and, and do something about it. So talk about these girls buying in and working. They bought in from day one. They were ready to go when we got to the gym first day. Working hard every day. Um, yeah, looking around, we only lost one senior from last year. We brought back five starters from our playoff run last year, and our bench got deeper this year. Uh, a lot of a lot of emphasis goes at the at your big. So talk a little bit about you know yeah. the pressure on her and what that's like. I think this year it's a lot more. Um, she's developed an outside shot, which has helped her expand her range, expand her abilities. She handles the ball very well. She rebounds excellently. Uh, she just got her 500th rebound as a sophomore last month. Uh, she just does everything that we ask her to do. Always goes hard after the ball. She's, she's our leader out there. When you took a step back and analyzed where you were and probably felt, hey, we had a great run last year. You said, what do we need to do to try to get there and maybe take another step? Was there something emphasized with your coaching staff or with the girls at all? Uh, Having a deeper bench. We only had six, we were in six girls the last two games. We need to have eight, nine deep, and we're almost there. I mean, we have we have one senior that unfortunately broke her wrist a couple weeks ago. She may be back if we get to the state run again. Uh, that would bring us up to nine off the bench that we're comfortable with. So we were we we uh, got on them early about how deep can we go into the bench, and we've developed some other players. We got two freshmen playing a lot of minutes for us. Uh, which is huge. Let's talk about the you know developing a culture and you know trying to, to make these girls buy in and, and keep it going for a little bit here. And yep. you know you have a couple of year run that's that's positive to hopefully inject something with some of the younger girls in the elementary or the middle school for that matter. Yep, and it has our numbers for junior high have gone up this year. Our fifth and sixth grade numbers are up again this year. Uh, my first season, we had 10 girls on the roster. Junior high was uh, starting to build back up again, and over the last two years, we, we're back up to where we want to be, and we keep seeing more girls come out. And uh, we had a, our coaches versus cancer game this year. Junior high was there, fifth and sixth grade was there, and it was just it was a great atmosphere. All those girls were engaged and just loud as could be. And it's just what we did last year has brought more kids to the program. Days like this where there's some bonding, and I'm sure they do other events at somebody's yeah. house to go get some pizza or wherever it is. But yeah. talk a little bit about, you know, when you see that, I'm sure there's a smile on your face. Oh, like, yeah. you know, we got a close-knit group of girls, and that's what's going to make long, long-time long friendships, and it'll play, pay off on the court. Yeah, and we're trying to do a couple more things. We have a little bit of a break before we play Nativity, and so we're trying to organize something next weekend for the girls to go maybe see a Division One game and spend some spend some time with each other outside of the basketball gym. Let's talk about your coaching staff and you know being able to lean on them and you know give you feedback and try to you know work each other brain each other's brains a little bit. We made a change last year. I brought Joe Reno in as an assistant coach. He's well known around the area. He's he's been awesome for us. He, he made a big difference last year in our fundamental development. Uh, offensively, helps us run the offense. Ashley Kilmer, um, Addison Riley's mom, came out as a volunteer last year. Stuck around this year. She she spearheads our defensive side of the of the game and has done a great job with that. Uh, said like he's back again this year with us. Another volunteer. But again, just an emotional, emotional guy, always pushing the girls to do, do more. And it's just the four of us work very well together. Uh, last year, especially, we worked really well, well together. Last year in that run, uh, they, we bounce ideas off each other. You know, I'm not set in my ways that this is how it's going to be. I take my suggestions from the coaches, and we figure out a game plan. And we do it. How about you reflect back on some of the people that uh, you know? Or influence us on you to become a coach. Uh, who do you look back on and say, you know, that was important? Oh, for me, it was my grandfather. Uh, he was the first coach at Mountain View, coach at Hartford, won 528 games in his career. Uh, so he was a big influence. My dad coached there. Uh, but really, my one of my good, good buddies, Jeff Evans, who coached at uh, Lakeland for 11 plus years on all different levels, uh, moved on from there, went to Mid Valley for a few years with Coach Abbott. Uh, he really. Ever since we were in high school, we kind of pushed each other to get that co get into coaching, and he got in a lot earlier than I did. But he gave me my first shot at coaching with him over at Lakeland. We became head coach, and he's he's been my biggest pusher, my biggest influence. As far as uh, you know, what you're looking to forward to the playoffs. I mean, right now there's a bunch of unknowns, but you're going to have to you know punch the clock and go get whoever's in front of you. Yep. 
Do you feel like these girls right now are dialed in? They're getting there. Uh, we have some work to do this week. We got to fine tune some things offensively, defensively, but they're they're ready to go. They know what it. Everybody's back from last year. Like I said, we had six girls, and uh, we have a few more that are stepped up into that role. They're ready to go. Uh, we're looking forward to another deep run. Hopefully, we get that that last step. Get to the, get the Hershey. All right, Bill. Good to uh, catch up. We wish you the best. All right. All right. Thank you very much.